Now, the Cardiff People's Paper was what, at the time, we would have called, or well, we did call it, a, you know, a collective. It was just a, a loose group of people who came together to put the paper together. Um, we'd probably call it a, a more of a cooperative now. We'd probably call it a publishing co-op now, but it was, it was totally loose. There wasn't any sort of legal form to it. People just came together on a regular basis and produced a, a newspaper. And, and we printed up about 1,500 copies roughly monthly. Um, no external funding whatsoever. Um, nobody got paid for anything. It was entirely a, a volunteer effort of, of producing the paper and selling the paper. And it just relied on, I think it was six old pence or whatever it was at the time. No, we were decimalised, so it, it can't have been that. Decimalisation was in 71. The paper had been going when I joined it for about three years, something like that. And it was very much uh, campaigning about tenants' issues. So it, whatever, whatever great issues were coming up, um, that's what it, it focused in on. So we, and, and the sales tended to reflect then um, where, wherever the issues were. Really. We campaigned through Butte Town about, and Grange Town about some of the issues on, on regeneration. Um, we did quite a lot in, in Riverside, but the, the really big thing that really took up most of the effort and, and on which I think we had the greatest success was the Hook Road. Now the Hook Road was this magnificent scheme to produce a dual carriageway that would start up more or less where the, where the motorway is now and streak down through northern Cardiff, right the way down through King Coyd, and right the way down through Roth and Plas Newith. And then it had a little bit of a bend at the end where it joined Newport Road, hence it got its name, the Hook Road. Well, it, it was a completely bonkers scheme because there was no thought about where these cars would go. They were all streaming at the city centre and then what was going to happen to them? You know? It was going to destroy 1,500 houses and we campaigned very strongly against that. And uh, had support from, from all sides, including the Labour and Tory party, both campaigning against it, both realising 1,500 houses, 5,000 people, that's an awful lot of disruption. And, uh, and we won. We got the, we got the road uh, abandoned in the end. So, so that was a great, uh, a great success. You know, the People's Paper um, ran, some, ran some big campaigns, you know, so there was, there was the Hook Road. Um, there was the, the, the stuff that span out of it on the, on the buses that made changes to the way the bus routes are operated. But, you know, stopping an, an enormous redevelopment scheme. We ran campaigns against the original Ravenseft redevelopment of Cardiff City Centre. But I think in a, in a slightly wider way, um, we made those sorts of radical campaigns possible and, and, and respectable.